Hello, and welcome back to Lombardi Engineering. I'm Joe, and today we're going to be continuing on the Maus project. Where we left off last time was I had built one side of the tracks and suspension, got that all wired up. Since then, I've gone and hopefully the parts don't fall off. I've gone and put on the second one. So this thing is basically all ready to roll. I've already tested them out individually using the, the leads right here and they, they function fine. So, today's episode is going to be getting them attached to a motor driver through an Arduino Mega and controlling it with a simple joystick. So, a little walkthrough of what we're going to be working with today. Starting off with the 4-cell LiPo battery, it's going to be going through the power cable to an L298N motor controller. It's an H-bridge What's fantastic about this little guy is that it has two separate outputs. Bad thing is, it takes up six pins on the Arduino. I don't like that. I would much rather have it take up two. But, to rectify that, I have an Arduino Mini Mega. It's not actually an Arduino, it's a Chinese knockoff, but it uses the AT Mega 2560 chip, which is great because you can use the Arduino IDE, which we'll be using later today. The input to the Arduino Mini Mega is going to be our analog joystick. These just have ground, 5 volts, and then two potentiometers basically inside here that, well, depending on whether your joystick is forward or backward, output 0 to 5 volts in two separate channels. So I'll set up an arcade drive where forwards is forwards on both of them, but once you swing it over to one side, it starts bringing back the voltage on one of the, the motors and then same for backwards. Alright, let's get to wiring this up. Looked up some magic code to run this driver. We're gonna attach it to the mouse and we're gonna test it out and maybe do some bug fixing or it'll work the first time which would be fantastic and probably a programming miracle. These are pretty easy. Just take this and go in here and unscrew the tops here. Alright, now we just jam that in there somewhere. Cool. Okay, we've got our joystick, we've got our power to the Arduino. Now I'll push this code. Upload. Done uploading. Now, for the moment of truth, will it blow up immediately? Nope. And there's no output. Fantastic. Okay. After much troubleshooting, I found out the the problem, which was that my control signal was not getting a proper ground and so it couldn't reference between the board and the motor controller board. But now, we've got everything together and it runs. And so, I'm a little heavy on the controls because I programmed a dead spot into this um, so that it wouldn't just always be making the the PWM noise. And it's also a tiny controller. But this indicates success, which is fantastic. And so I'll be moving from here on to getting the, the turret so that I can control it back and forth, get the servo in there, elevate the gun up and down. I'll also be painting the mouse and then from there I'll be working on getting an RC circuit worked up so that I've got the receiver in the mouse and then I've got a transmitter outside and I can just like let it loose. Um, I'll be posting the the Arduino sketch that I used today but it'll differ greatly once I'm actually done and have everything going. So thanks for tuning in. This has been Lombardi Engineering and I look forward to future success. See ya.